question is about trusting yeah. plans, and in your manifesto, there was a notable absence of costings. Well, I would say, in answer to that question, judge us on our record. On our record, we have <laughs> cut... Yeah. 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 OK, OK. It's we have cut the, the deficit. We have cut the deficit. We've reduced taxes for the lowest paid. And we've made sure that we've continued to invest in the NHS. 1.7 trillion Which is getting is another the £8 billion pounds a year by the end of this Parliament. But the only way we can have that money to invest in our public services, and we know the importance of our public services, our schools, our hospitals, is to make sure that we have a strong economy, which does sometimes mean making difficult choices, those sort of choices that no other party here is prepared to face up to. We have to make sure that we control our spending so we have that strong economy. But the sure way to bust our economy, to lead to danger, is to have false negotiations with the EU, to have the sort of leader like Jeremy Corbyn, supported perhaps by the people here, who would create just confusion when trying to deal with the 27 different you states. Say that. Thanks. Jeremy Corbyn. I'm very clear that we will negotiate tariff-free trade access to European markets so that our manufacturing industry jobs are defended and supported and we have a growing economy as a result of that. We have made a number of very clear spending commitments in our manifesto. They're set out here in a spending plan. They're also set out in the manifesto itself. The government, the Conservative government, has made a lot of choices. We know what those choices are. Our schools are underfunded, our hospitals are overcrowded, our students are saddled with debt, there's a growing housing crisis. And at every single turn, their answer is to further reduce corporation tax and further reduce tax for the very wealthiest in our are, society. Are you sure? I'll give you an example. Are, 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 you, I just want to ask, are you sure that your plans add up? Add up? I mean, it was only yesterday you couldn't remember sure. the cost of one of your I'm policies. I'm absolutely sure that they add up, absolutely <laughs> clearly about this. For example, if we want to remove university tuition fees, and we do, so our students are not saddled with debt, and restore maintenance grants so that all children, whatever their background, have a chance of going to university, that will cost £11 billion. I think that is money well spent. I think that is the kind of investment this country needs. Do you think why should, why should, why should, why should, why should, why should a child's future be determined by the postcode in which they're born? That's why we are determined to bring in free preschool 30 hours a week from two to four year olds and make sure that every primary school child gets a free lunch every day so they can learn while they're properly fed. But Jeremy, Jeremy, you have a Labour government yeah. in Wales and they aren't the doing those things. You have a Labour government in Wales that is charging students to go to university. Yeah. Why, why are you saying this here when you have this an example is of a, a Labour government, UK government, not government doing and that? a UK government policy? Also, Labour is different in UK it's, and different in Wales. It's, it's going to be a UK policy, and it it's will mean things, that the money is made available there by increasing tax, not for the first 95% of the population, but the, the other 5% to ensure the funds are there. Because I I am fed up with. Can I I'm absolutely fed up with the idea that so many children growing up in poorer households and poorer communities don't get the same chances as others to get to university and get on in life. They lose, and we all lose, because we lose those skilled, brilliant people so that want to contribute to our community.